welcome to Planet's Vision tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm using CabinetVision Solid Ultimate version 11. We'll explore how to get the best quality renders possible for your design. Vision is a part of your CabinetVision software, which enables you to create a realistic or artistic looking render. First step in creating your perfect render look is knowing exactly what materials you have chosen. You can view chosen materials by selecting room properties at the top center of the screen. Select cabinets, then materials. Say I have selected INT CP1 16mm 1mm edge. This refers to the panels and the fillers in the job. Then you go to doors. As you can see, I've chosen CP1 16mm 1mm edge. And finally, go to countertops. As shown in this job, it's set to 40mm stone. Once viewed, exit this screen. Once you have confirmed your selected material, you can edit the finishing features on the material to achieve your designed render look. To do so, return to the splash screen. Select materials in the catalogs tab. In the drop down panel on the left hand side of the screen, select panel stock. It's all in alphabetical order. All material options are now appearing. Across the top of the list, there are six tabs. To optimize your render quality, we are focusing on finishes, finish types and textures. To adjust these first, find the selected material from a specific job. I'll choose CP1 16mm. First there are finishes. Finishes are solid colours and generally they will be set to automatic. If they are not, change them back to automatic. Once they are set to automatic, you can change them in the room properties and finishes tab or in the sidebar when you are in 3D view. Textures. Textures need to appear with the word blank, otherwise they override the finishes. Once again, when the template has been set, you can change the textures in the sidebar when you're in 3D view or in the specific job. Finish types are how the material presents in PhotoVision. For optimal results, select Finish Type in the Finishes tab at the top of the screen. Select Copy of Bright White from the drop down menu and change the shader to Wood. This is vital as it can impact the way you see the colours on 3D drawings. For example, if you choose laminous gloss and you are doing a white cabinet, you will see the grey tone, not a true white. Now we will discover how to import textures once you have chosen these from the 3D view of your specific job. You need to find the textures you want to save away on your computer. For example, for laminate colours, go to the laminate website, find the colour palette and select a colour to save it away. To import, return to the splash screen and select the materials tab. Select textures up the top centre of the screen. This screen will appear. Select the item which you would like to import from the left hand side of the drop down menu, e.g. laminate. Next move over to the import icon at the top left hand side of the screen of the pop up. Select the icon in the top left corner. Find and select the laminate colour palette you previously saved away. For the images to appear, ensure the file type in the side drop down menu is JPEG file. Select Open. Type the name and description in and select Decal box and select OK. The colour is now imported and remain in your database for future jobs. Tiles are different. To do tiles, select a picture, perhaps from Google Images, and make sure it has a slight border around it, so in 3D view you can see the grout. Lighting is another factor in producing the best possible render. You may know about setting the lighting before you start the job, but I have to say there is no use in doing it because we delete all the lights. First, we go to plan view, right click anywhere on the page and select add light. In this tab you have to select the colour as white light because it gives you the best detail possible. Then you have the brightness on the right hand side of the page, you have to select it to maximum. Softness is next, you must select it to be sharp. And finally we have the beam angle. 
You have to have this set to 180 degrees so it gives the best exposure in the picture. Then you can copy this as many times as you need. I'll just copy it to be in the picture three times. Next, we must go to 3D view. Select lights from the left hand side of the screen. The new screen pops up. I won't show you all the buttons, I'll just show you the ones you need to know. We'll copy this automatic one and call it test. Then we make sure you're on test. Next we go to the light that is in the middle of the screen and click on it and turn it to enabled no. Then we go down to the sunlight one which is orange, select it. See on the side it has brightness up to halfway. You need to put this down to about 10%. Then you must go to the directional tab and put it in there at minus 45, minus 155. This will look amazing. Now we have done the lights, we can have a look at doing the photovision side. To view this function, select 3D view and select photovision up the top left hand side. On the top left hand side, you can see the edit tab consisting of advanced and architectural features. Alongside it, it is the render tab, offering cartoon, hand drawn and hatch design options. The advanced and architectural functions enable you to create realistic looking render, while the cartoon, hand drawn and hatch features offer artistic looking renders. The advanced and architectural options are somewhat similar, however they both have unique features. When the advanced function is selected, your design will appear without ray trace. While the architectural view outlines ray traces and takes approximately 5 to seven minutes to complete. I will now show you what it will look like when you are done. Thanks for watching this tutorial.